Hi everybody. So um, today is exactly one week since my surgery um, and I just wanted to do a quick update. Um, on Sunday, my I meant to do a video on Sunday but I was really busy. Um, the external pump that my doctor gave me that had the um, numbing medication for the surgical wounds um, was pulled out here at home. Um, my mom actually did it. I, it didn't hurt at all. It felt a little funny, but it didn't hurt. But I've had tubes before and kind of knew what to expect. Um, so uh, I would say yesterday, last night, I could really tell that the numbing medication was gone and I felt a little more bruised, a little more tender um, at both my back and the uh, pump site. So I um, actually have not felt good at all today. I've just felt really sore and really exhausted, not good. I didn't really sleep good last night. So just a quick video. I just want to show you uh, what it looks like. Um, I was able to take a shower now that the external pump is out. So that felt amazing. And um, so the back, you, the blood is still on there because I can't take the tape off. So but um, the swelling has gone down, um, the bloating has, has um, gone down a lot, so because I can tell in my binder that I'm able to stretch it a lot farther. So hopefully it just keeps going down. Um, my appetite's been okay. Um, I think I've been eating probably a little less than I normally would, but still not, you know, much different. So someone asked me about that, so I wanted to um, let you guys know that. So um, try to get my back. Uh, I know I can't really tell anything because it has bled on and off so much the first few days that I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna be able to see anything until the doctor takes all the stuff off and cleans it. So that'll be Friday. Um, I see him at 1.30. So here is the pump site. Um, I'm a little bit allergic to adhesive. So this little thing um, I got a few days ago, it's like turned into a blister. It is so itchy. It's finally starting to heal, but that's what that is. You can tell I'm a little um, bruised, the bruising. I bruise very easily though, like um, down here, I can tell I'm bruised. And a little bit up here I can feel this pump I mean it's right there that's how big it is as big as you know my hand you can see the outline and it, it ends right here right here so from the side I mean I'm still still bloated My dog is coming in to see what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you from this side. So, I mean, normally, I mean, I have had two C-sections, so I kind of always have this shelf down here, but this is usually not so big and bloated, and this side is much more full than the other side, so... Um, this side is very sore. I I feel you can't. I guess I mean I can see a little. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little line that's bruised on the side of me. It's probably from them um, pushing the the two. I don't know what they're called. Little tubes um, from the pump into the back to the spinal area. So this. Uh, left side of me where the pump was placed um, the actual side of my waist is very sore today so I think that that's just the numbing medicine has left so I'm noticing a lot of, a lot more I'm still continuing to wear my um, binder and just taking um, ibuprofen and naproxen or Tylenol PMs pretty much around the clock so I am really anxious for him to um, see me Friday and increase my medication because although I can tell it's better than nothing for sure it's not um, as 
good as my pills would have me feeling on a regular day-to-day -day basis so um, that's how I'm feeling right now today's Tuesday so I probably will do an update Friday after I see the doctor so thanks and bye